The following screencast will provide you with an introduction to Acknowledge's measurement tool system. When you first open Acknowledge with a file of sample data or previously recorded data, more often than not the measurements are set to none and the channel is set to SC. The first thing you need to pay attention to is the channel that you want to take the measurement from and the type of measurement you want to choose. As we look at this graph that I have open you can see that one of the channels has a yellow background. By clicking backwards and forwards we can see that the yellow highlighted area moves from one channel to the next. That allows us to identify the selected channel. SC refers to selected channel. So right now this channel 2, which is heart rate taken from our ECG channel, is the selected waveform. If I move to the top, you can see our measurement boxes are now blue and channel 1, the raw ECG, is now the selected channel. If I want to take a measurement from channel 2, I can deter, you know, define this measurement Come as coming from channel 2. And if I pull down my measurement, I'm going to select min, I can come down to here, to max, etc, etc. Or in 4.2, we now have these new measurement preset boxes, and I've already, already set one up for um, this particular demonstration, and it's labeled ECG measurements. When I select that option, my measurements are all updated. And if I choose the I beam highlight tool, I can highlight an area of data like so. And now the results are displayed. So I'm measuring the minimum value on channel 2, and it's 72.9 beats per minute, per minute. Maximum value from channel 2, rate 89.8 .8 beats per minute the difference between the most minimum value and the most maximum value within that selected area is 16.8 beats per minute. The highlighted period is 5 seconds or just just over 5 seconds and then this channel is looking at the event marks which were automatically placed on this ECG waveform and it's actually counting the number of QRS waveforms within the period. So if I just highlight one waveform like so, the value here is one because there's one QRS peak value. And as I drag my cursor out, that number will increase. So now I'm looking at eight seconds of data and my event count is now up to 11. One of the nice things about the measurement system and the journal, it's a handy way of extracting information from the raw data, saving it down into the journal, and then you can use it for further analysis or to email to a, a colleague. To do that, if we go to the Edit menu and the Journal sub-menu, there's an option there, Paste Measurements. Now I've pasted this information down into my journal. If we were to increase our, our window size, these would all appear in their own unique columns. Now, another nice new feature in Acknowledge 4.2 gives us the ability to add a table. I'm going to add a table with four rows and five columns. Now we can see we've got our table down below by right clicking with my mouse and selecting insert all measure measurement values with header I've now created a nice little table I can come over here highlight a little more data again I'm using my right mouse button and I'm going to insert all the measurement values and I've now pasted these measurements down into my journal file now for the next part of my day, my experiment, if I want to take a different set of measurements, I can come up to my preset, select ECG2. Now I've got two rows of measurements, and 
if I highlight an error of data these values are now updated. To add rows of measurements we do that under the display menu preferences and if I move this down a little bit in this instance we've got it set to the number of rows to 2 I'm going to change that to 5 I'm going to hit OK so now I've got five rows of measurements and I can turn these measurements on as I choose and I can come over here and I can say new preset and I'm going to enter a new label for that preset and now I can toggle back to my original preset min, max, peak to peak, delta, time and event count and back to my test. And this preset will always appear no matter what file you open within this version of Acknowledge. So as you can see there are really three important things you have to remember. Pay attention to the channel number and the channel you want to take a measurement from. To determine the channel you're taking the measurement off of or leave it on the selected channel and the measurement that you're taking. And If you get all those things correct you can save it as a preset and then each time you open your file to analyze your data you'll always have all your um, measurements set ready to go. Anyway that concludes our introduction to the Acknowledge Measurement System.